Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So in this one, we are looking at the new Datamind bundles. Uh, we already knew most of the bundles coming out through August, but now we have some more Datamind information. As always, Datamind information is subject to change. And as we can see here, there was a change made where the uh, the Morbius bundle that looked like super crazy value for $5 is now $20. Uh, this did look a little bit too good to be true. Turns out it was. So always important to remember these things can change from their Datamind information. However, I believe this is the only bundle that actually changed from the ones we looked at last time, which was going over the bundles in July as well as August. Uh, so I wanted to mention that one before we dive into the new ones. Kind of unfortunate. Still get some decent resources, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting this one anymore as it's a lot steeper than it looked initially. So starting it off is the Days of Summer Pass bundle. This one is from September 4th to the 11th. Will be a real money bundle for $30 US and contains variants for Agent Coulson as well as White Queen, both summer vacation variants, 600 credits and 3000 gold as well as the respective boosters and avatars. If you're looking to pick up gold, I think these ones are generally the ones to go with if you want gold but don't want to really buy it at the absurd prices in the regular store. This at least gives you a little bit of credits and some nice variants to boot if you're interested in them. We also have Token Tuesday going to be continuing, still not as good as it used to be, but an option for those who want to get tokens for their gold. I'm not going to go over them all here, but they will be regularly occurring on Tuesday. Then we have the Beach Bums Bundle. This one is for 2,800 gold. Contains the Summer Vacation variants for Leech, Scorpion, and Sandman, as well as the respective boosters and avatars, and 3,600 credits to boot. So if you're really into these variants, probably not a bad way to go. Personally, I like the Sandman one a lot. So I'm not expecting to pick this one up because I already have variants I like for all these cards. And we have Cannonball Run. This one is going from September 8th to September 11th. Contains the summer vacation variants of Armor and Giganto. Really like these ones. They look super good. Uh, 2,800 gold cost and 3,600 credits included. Then we have Aspect of Heimdall. This one comes with a Pantheon variant for Heimdall and Craven. 4,000 collector's tokens, 4,800 credits, the respective boosters and avatars, and this is a real money bundle for $75. Another pretty steep one like the Mecha Death we saw. Obviously, they're charging a little bit more of a premium on these tokens now that they're more rare and hard to get a hold of. Uh, probably going to be a pass for me on this one. I just don't really see a crazy amount of value there. Then we have the Emergency Pirate Outfit. This one gives the 1602 variant of Kitty Pride. I like this one quite a bit. A little bit cheaper than some of the other real money bundles. This one coming in at $20 with 1600 gold and 900 credits. Again, this is one where if you're looking for a variant for Kitty and you're also interested in getting gold, this just seems like a better move than buying gold by itself in the store. So these ones Usually worth it for those who are already spending money on the game. Unfortunately, not available for gold purchase. And we have the Sword and Shield coming in from September 21st to the 24th. This is another beta rewind offering where these were the variants in the Nick Fury season. So if you like the noir Nick Fury or the variants for Agent 13 and Iron Man, this might be worth it to you. Uh, I think these are really decent if you're really into the cosmetics. Do wish they were available for gold, but the original seasons they come out in weren't available for gold either, so I guess I can understand it. As far as variants go, though, if you like at least two of these, I think it's decent value. Then they're breaking out the big guns here with the Artist Showcase Kim Jacinto. This one's co coming in at a whopping 7,500 gold cost and has the Kim Jacinto variants for Master Mold and Darkhawk. 7,200 credits and 310 boosters for both cards as well as the avatars. I really like the art for these a lot, but 7,500 gold is a huge, huge ask. And honestly, in terms of value outside of the cosmetic value, I really don't think there's a whole ton here as it's less than a one-to-one -one conversion on the credits and that just doesn't feel very good. So as much as I like Kim Jacinto, 
There are other good variants for these characters. I'll probably be passing on this one. And then the Festival of Unity bundle from the 28th of September to October 1st, $5 price tag. These $5 ones are usually the best thing outside of the season pass to be spending money on in the game, uh, especially if you like the variant, but even if you don't, it's kind of a reduced pricing on getting credits. This one is going to be the Mid-Autumn Festival variant of Wong. Also some value here if you are a Pool 3 Incomplete player and you don't have Wong yet, this will give you access to the card right away. So these $5 ones continue to be very, very good. And we'll just scroll through some of the new data mined variants as we wrap up here. Some of these are for unreleased cards. Uh, some of them are for currently released cards. A lot of cool ones here though. Uh, they really do a good job at adding some very, very nice looking variants to the game. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like overall the bundles have been kind of underwhelming. Uh, there is the Black Panther uh, bundle dropping tonight, and that's probably the best bundle in terms of tokens for your gold that we're going to be seeing all the way through September. So if you are able to get up to that mark and have enough gold for that bundle, that's the one you should be buying, in my opinion, uh, if you value tokens for getting agency over which new cards you get upon release if you don't have enough of the caches. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how everything shakes out with the new system. I think it'll become pretty apparent pretty quickly if it's a fully better thing, if it's worse in some ways. I think players will get a feel for it over the coming weeks. Uh, but overall, I think a lot of the July cards are kind of underwhelming. So I would strongly recommend waiting for the, uh, the other cards coming in August and September. They look a lot more interesting and stronger, in my opinion. I think it's a lot better to hold your caches until then uh, but yeah that's going to wrap it up for this video as always link in the description if you want to check out the bundles yourself and let me know in the comments below any of these interest you are you just going to continue saving are you going to pick up the black panther bundle let me know in the comments that's going to wrap it up for this one hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one peace